name is Mike. This is a Make Code Arcade tutorial, and today I'm talking about creating an NPC. So, uh, I've been working on this character for a little while. His name is Tony Baloney, and he is my sprite. Right? He's a playable sprite. So uh, you can tell that because it says of kind player. I'm gonna load him up because I'm pretty proud of him. All right, Tony Baloney. If he just stands still, he starts blinking. But then he can run to the left and right, and up and down. All right. So we've got a playable character. But say you want to add an NPC. What is an NPC? An NPC is a non-playable character. So that could be a number of things. Uh, it could be a character you interact with to get something, like a friend, or it could be an enemy. Um, I'm going to make Tony Baloney a friend. So, you start it the exact same way you would start by making your own character. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I have a tutorial on it. It's called Create Your Own Character and or Character Design, something like that. But there is a tutorial on it and check it out. But to add a friend for Tony Baloney, we're gonna go to Sprites, we're gonna set Get this one here, the first one, set my sprite to blah blah blah. But instead of my sprite, we're gonna create a new name. And Tony Baloney's friend's name is gonna be Sergeant. I gotta say Sergeant. No, S G T name. Yeah, Sergeant Sprinkles. Now we have a new guy and their name is uh, Sergeant Sprinkles. And to make it a non-playable character, you're going to click in here and there's a few things that are going to pop up. You've got projectile, which I'll cover in a, another session. Food, so that'd be like a power up probably. Enemy, and add new kind. So um, I think a friend, which Sergeant Sprinkles clearly is, is not any of these. So we're going to do it. add new kind and we're going to do friend. Okay. Alright, then you've got to draw out Sergeant Sprinkles. Uh, again, I've got a tutorial on this. You can work in the editor and create your own, or you can go to the gallery and there's all kinds of preloaded stuff. Look, there's already a donut in there. Mm, I want to make one. It'll be quick, I promise. Alright, so we need the base of a donut. I'm going to change the circle. Start it near the center. Around. Boom. Fill that in. Oops. And then we need the uh, pink frosting, obviously. Just do this by hand. Working on it. And fill that. And a little bottom. All right. Then we'll get sprinkles and sprinkles. Some eyeballs, obviously. Give them some big old eyeballs. And a mouth. Oh, let's give them some pupils. And then what color is his mouth? Let's do dark purple. And he's a gruff kind of dude, so he's gonna have a frowning face. Some legs. And some arms. And uh, he's a 
sergeant, so he needs a little helmet too, probably, right? Sergeant Sprinkles, and he can hang out with Tony Baloney. So, that's the basic of making a non-playable character. There's a lot of things you can do to make um, Sergeant Sprinkles more interactive, such as, let's see, sprites, um, there, here we go, here's a good one, set, Sergeant Sprinkles to follow Tony Baloney. Alright, now he's gonna follow me around. Or he's not. There he goes. Alright, so now I got a little party, a little, a little some friends. You can slow down the speed that he follows you. So there's a little delay in between. Yeah, Tony Baloney's got a friend. Uh, there's all kinds of other things you could do. So if you said uh, on overlap, which is, or you could also yeah, just fiddle through here. You know, there's a lot of stuff. Overlaps, on overlap of kind. This is quick, and you don't really need to do all this. I already told you basically what you need to know. Um, if player overlaps with friend, then we'll say put in a text splash. That was it. Yeah, here we go. Have Tony Baloney, or Sergeant Sprinkles say, I love you, Tony. And uh, a little heart. Cool. So he's just gonna kind of chase him around and he's gonna say, I love you, Tony. Probably set a time limit on that. And we'll say for uh, one second. He's gonna catch back up to him. And, I love you, Tony. This is a good game. I like this game. Cool. There you go. All right. That's how you create your custom NPC. Again, it doesn't need to be a friend. It could be an enemy, and if it overlapped, it could uh, hurt you, take your life down, damage you, something like that. Um, you can also throw in animations if you want to know how to do that. Check out my other video at animation. Um, I think Kari also did one for jump that uses a different technique. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, have fun, get to it. I love you, Tony.